Welcome to a video taking a look at um, finding the surface area of a cylinder. Uh, first of all, let's talk about what this word surface area means. Surface area simply means the area of each of the faces added together. So if we take a look at what that means on our diagram here, so we've been given this diagram of a cylinder where we've got the radius of the circle on the top as 10 centimeters and the height of it as 30. The surface area simply means the area of each of the faces. So the area of that face that I've just coloured in plus the area of the circular face at the bottom as well and then the area of the bit that is wrapping around the cylinder. Now clearly we can see that we've got a circle at the top and a circle at the bottom but what is the shape that is wrapping around the cylinder? What is that bit that I've got left blank? Well, if we think carefully about this, what we can say is that it's actually just simply a rectangle. If you think about, say, a magazine, and you were to roll that up and scrunch it up and curve it round, what you would find is that you would get a cylinder, albeit without a lid and a base. And that's been created simply from taking a rectangle and, and folding it around to make your cylinder. So that's the shape that we get when we roll it round. If we were to unravel this, and what I've just got here is simply diagrams of each of the faces. What we're going to do is we're just going to calculate the area of each of these faces. So let's start with the easy bit, the circles at the top and at the bottom. So the area for this circle here is simply going to be pi r squared or pi multiplied by the radius squared. The radius here we're given is 10, so pi times 10 squared. Then at the bottom we've also got the area for this one, it's exactly the same, so that's going to be pi multiplied by the radius squared as well, so pi times 10 squared. <coughs> then we're onto this slightly trickier bit. We've got a rectangle. We know from the diagram that the height here of our cylinder is 30 centimeters. So the length of this side is going to be 30 centimeters. Now, the tricky part is figuring out, okay, well, what must the length of this bit at the top be? Well, <clears throat> what I can say is that if this is the top bit, this is the bit that is wrapping around this circle here. So I could say that this length is simply the same as the circumference of my circle. Remember that this rectangle here is simply wrapping around from one side all the way around until it meets again. So it's it's basically just following round the circumference of the circle. So using the formula for the circumference of the circle I could say that this length here on the top is simply going to be pi multiplied by the diameter. Well I've been given the radius here which is 10 so the diameter simply double that so it would be pi multiplied by 20. So I could say that the area then, the area of this rectangle is simply going to be 30 multiplied by pi multiplied by 20. So just simply multiplying this length here by that length there. That's giving me the area and that's just for this rectangle. Then well, what do I need to do? Well, the surface area is when I add all of these things together. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave these in this format um, before I start adding them up. That's simply to avoid me making um, any accuracy mistakes by rounding and then kind of not considering the fact that I've rounded um, at the end. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to plug all of this into my calculator. So first off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply do pi multiplied by 10 squared. Okay, so I'm finding out the area of this circle here. That gives me 314.159, etc, etc, etc. And <clears throat> what I can then say is, well, I've got one at the bottom as well, so I've got two of them. So let's multiply that by two. Then I simply need to add to that, I simply need to add the area for the rectangle that is wrapping itself around my cylinder. So we worked out the area here, it's going to be 30 multiplied by pi 
multiplied by 20. And that gives me an answer of 2513.274123. So what we'll say here is um, I'll give this answer to the nearest centimetre squared. So I'll say that my answer here, so for the surface area, the surface area of the entire cylinder is simply um, 2513. Let's just check if that was right. Uh, yeah, 2513 and that is centimetres squared so I've just added the area for this part here plus the area for this part here plus the area for that part there and that's given me to the nearest um, whole number so to the nearest centimetre squared 2513 let's take a look at a second example um, what I suggest if you're, you're feeling confident have a go at this one yourself first um, and then press uh, play again and then watch for the solutions. So let's start going through this. So again I've been given a circle and let's just draw a little diagram of that circle. Not a great diagram but it'll do. So I've got a circle here and that's got a radius of four centimeters. And then again I've got that same circle down the bottom again same radius of four centimeters. So the area for the circle on the top, that's simply going to be pi times the radius squared, so pi times 4 squared. Again, this one here, so it get exactly the same, so it's going to be pi multiplied by 4 squared. Then I've got the rectangle. Okay, not the best diagram you'll ever see, but it, it'll do. So I've got this rectangle here, and what I could say is, well, I've got... I know that the length of it is 12 centimetres. All that I then need to work out is, okay, well, what will the length of the part that is wrapping itself around the circle be? Okay, and we saw from last time around that that's simply the distance all the way around the circle. Okay, so we could say it's the circumference of the circle. So this is simply going to be pi times the diameter of this circle, so the diameter of the circle is going to be the whole distance from one side through the middle to the other, pi multiplied by 8, so just doubling that radius. So this then gives me the area, my area for this is simply going to be, um, the area for my rectangle is simply going to be uh, 12 multiplied by pi multiplied by 8. So, again, I'm not going to work these out individually, then add them together. I'm going to put it all into my calculator at the same time to avoid any accuracy errors. So, let's start off. I'm going to start with pi multiplied by 4 squared. And then I've got two of those. I've got one at the top and one at the bottom of my cylinder. So, multiply that by 2. Then I'm going to add on the area for the rectangle that is wrapping itself around the cylinder. So, that's going to be 12 multiplied by pi multiplied by 8 and that gives me a final answer of 402.1238597 again I'm just going to round it to the nearest whole number so the surface area of the cylinder in total the surface area is going to give me uh, what was it 402? 402 and that again is in centimetres squared because we're dealing with area.